What up guys, it's your boy APT Songs here, back with another music video reaction. And today's is a little bit of a somber one because it is an artist who recently passed away. His name is Archie Eversole, and he created one of the greatest chant songs of all time called We Ready, featuring Bubba Sparks. Now, I have not heard this song in a long time. I just remember that it's a chant song that's great to play at the beginning of football games. And also, I never ever saw the video. I didn't know if there was a video for it. So I figured uh, in memory of his passing, we'd go ahead and react to this song and video. As always, if you guys have requests for songs or videos you'd like me to react to, you can leave them down in the comments below. Also, you can show your support by going to patreon.com slash APT songs and becoming a subscriber. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this song, Archie Eversole featuring Bubba Sparks called We Red A. Let's get it. You can already feel this is going to be a high energy song. The beats barely even come in and just off the hypeness of his voice, it's already going to be banging. Look at the guy mean mugging like, mm, I'm not going to get crunk today. I'm going to look mean and have a bad time. Oh yeah, this is definitely like the earliest 2000 feel of like just the way they're doing the camera. This almost feels like an old school TI video, real talk. I'ma take them out the game, y'all. It ain't no thing, y'all. You wanna I rip you up like a chainsaw. The game's wrong, boy. Please believe it. Keep your Bible with you, cause you won't be needing Jesus. Being it for chart topping hits. So I want to talk about the editing style for a second. So this is an example of like when you don't have a big budget, but you need to make the video look frantic. You do a shot like this at the car where you have them do three different takes of it so you can mix them all together. And then you have the one with his homeboys where they're doing different takes and then you just mesh them all together. So that way it looks like you're doing a bunch of stuff and visually it looks like a lot's going on. But really, it's not. But the fact that they make all those cuts makes sure tricks your brain into thinking that more is going on than actually is, which makes this be more of an exciting video than it has any right to be because there's not really a lot going on. Archie ain't gonna stop dropping. I'm gonna make a million dollars and stand on the top of it, rocking it till the day I die in this game. Archie with the fat boy adding the fire to the flame. Now see the combination of like the beat really, really being really frantic, but his uh, chant being really smoothed out. So you have the the da, ba, da, da, ba, ba, the beat, but then you have the we ready. It's like you have to get crunk while singing a slow song. It's like it's just so infectious. Where they running to? I, 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 where they going? That head busting. We need cousin. What's up? Huh? Country boy, you said something. If you're ready, why you stumbling into the flow? Huh? If you're ready, why you stuttering? I ain't Joe. I'm a show. Oh, you see him wearing the 24 jersey, the throwback? Yeah, that was also very much the style in the early 2000s. And like, like at some point, Jay-Z came along and said, okay, we're not doing that anymore. We're wearing suits now. But before that, all jerseys. They call it dirty. There is no mercy for player haters cause he ain't worthy. Heard of me then? Hell no. But boy, I bet you done heard of me now. Atlanta, Georgia, where the dirt have been found. See, I done did this since my younger days. Only 16, but my back is never underage. So also, again, where is he running to? Where is he running to? And all, he's definitely got that that uh, southern style draw in his voice. Like he's like I said, there are a lot of other southern rappers that came out at that time that had that similar sound. Again, sounding very similar to Ti's tonality, also. Oh 
shit. Oh, it's not Little John. Oh. So yeah, Little John, yeah, we all know early 2000s, Little John was popping off. I don't think Little John made this beat, but Little John was definitely like everywhere. If he wasn't on your beat, he was definitely showing up in your video. Oh man, it's been a minute. Okay. I don't know who that boxer is because I don't really follow sports like that. He's wearing a couple belts, so I have to assume he is somebody, but I, I don't know who he is. So please tell me in the comments if you know who that is. I think that was JT Money I just saw. He was another rapper. He had uh, a song, Who Dat, Who Dat, Who Dat, Who Dat, which was a, uh, I was a big fan of that song back in the day. just really rented out like a yard like a, a old rundown like construction yard or something for the day like that's pretty impressive okay here's Bubba Sparks for those of you that don't know Bubba Sparks was another white rapper that came out maybe a couple years after Eminem and uh, Timberland's the one that signed him originally Bubble baby, trouble baby, did my thing, love me, hate me, all in London, yelling Georgia, you wrote better, supplicate me, hold it down for country, leave them others up to shady, give a damn if silly sisters think I'm- He said leave those others up to shady, oh snap, oh snap, he mentioned them. Hold it down for country, leave them others up to shady, give a damn if silly sisters think I'm good or lucky, pay me, tell them why shit, they don't want it, however they can get it, told them about that- with it. I gotta say, I was surprised that a white rapper, could, a white rapper, could get away with like being out of shape and still have like a, a fan. Because most people, like rappers, usually have to be fit. They got muscles. They like usually little skinny dudes and stuff like that. And this dude came out like I'm big old country boy and deal with it. And he had a career for a bit. Traded mainstream, maintaining the same theme. Polo shirts and pigs can't even get them stains clean. Ain't too much. <laughs> <laughs> he said polo shirts and pig crap can't even get them stains clean. That's hilarious. I ain't seen in between LaGrange and Athens, ups and downs, rights and lefts, all around me, planes is crashing in and how we read it now. The new south has arrived. These savages is fitting to eat and won't stop till they satisfy. Just a good, bouncy, crunk song, man. You don't have to have a, have a lot going on for this song to be enjoyable. Like I said, the video, I'm at the video so far. Not a lot going on, but they've managed to keep my eyes interested in watching it. I'm like, okay, are these people chasing him to beat him up or are they following him? I can't tell. I, I don't understand what what's going on, but uh, okay. They're, he's running after them now, and they think that he's going to beat all of them up. Sure. Ah. Oh. Good old classic early 2000s music. So let me tell you, yeah. I said that, that song's a classic, and the lyrics themselves, ain't nothing to write home about. You know, you really here for the chant. You're not here for the lyrics of the song. I thought Bubba Sparks brought some added flair to it that, you know, has some decent lyrics and stuff, and a couple of punchlines here and there. But that's just a typical down south song. Hey, get my flavor, get my feel. And then, you know, the video, they had to make something for it, but they were smart to keep it in one location and just use different parts of that location. But yeah, I've always enjoyed this song, even though it's been a while since I've heard it. So I like the song. Uh, I hadn't seen the video before, so the video was adequate for an early 2000 video. The colors were very bright and vibrant. You know, you see the the uh, throwback shirts everywhere and stuff like that. So that's kind of a normal video that you see. And yeah, it's just it's sad. You know, I, I, allegedly he got shot by his brother and, and got killed uh, earlier this month. So it's just kind of a sad thing, uh, especially like he's younger than I am and just, you know, still like wasn't able to survive that. And that's kind of sad. So, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this old school song. Let me know if you've seen the video before and uh, leave your comments down below. Like I said, if you want to hear if a song you want me to react to, then leave it down in the comments as well. And feel free to show your support by going to patreon.com slash APT songs. That's it. I'm APT songs and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. All the girls in the